Hi everyone, my name is Johan and I'm a senior cloud developer advocate working at Microsoft. In this video, we'll talk about the tools that you need to set up on your machine to work with JavaScript. The first thing you'll need is a code editor to write your JavaScript code. One of the best options is Visual Studio Code. It's a lightweight code editor that can do quite a lot of things right out of the box. It supports all popular languages, that includes JavaScript of course, it has Git integration and a built-in terminal. You can also add all the features you need using extension, and we'll see more on that. The best thing is that it's completely free, works on Windows, macOS and Linux, and it's also open source. The funny thing, believe it or not, is that it's entirely written in JavaScript. And if you're curious about that, you can just take a look at the source code on GitHub. Speaking of extensions, there's a lot of useful extensions that you can find in the marketplace, and I've selected three of them that can be really useful if you're developing JavaScript applications. Just to be clear, you don't require these to follow the next sections, but they will definitely come handy in your JavaScript journey. ESLint is a linter. That's a tool that analyzes your code to find and fix problems in it, making sure you ship quality code to production. Prettier is a code formatter. That means that you can just focus on writing your code, and this tool will take care of making it pretty and consistent all across your code base. And ES6 Code Snippets is for lazy developers like me. If you don't always like typing the same things, it will provide you shortcuts to make you more productive. Okay, the second thing that you will need to develop JavaScript application is Node.js. But what's Node.js? Node.js is a JavaScript runtime, meaning that you can use it to execute JavaScript code outside of the browser. Even if you plan to write web applications that will run inside a browser, Node.js will provide you the environment to run all the tools you need to build your JS application, whether it will run inside or outside the browser. The JavaScript ecosystem evolves quickly, and so is Node.js. While you can install Node.js directly from the official website, you will get stuck with a fixed version. That's why it's best to use a tool that will manage your Node.js environment, including updates. For that, we'll use NVM, which stands for Node Version Manager. It's a CLI tool that you will use to install and update Node.js. If you're using macOS, Linux, or WSL, you can use the original NVM tool. But if you're using Windows without WSL, you will need to install a different tool that will work roughly the same. That's it with what you need. Now let's go ahead and proceed with the installation.